Y'all, I hate dumb people. <laughs> Y'all, I hate stupid people. Y'all, I hate people that get on my damn nerves. And I know hate is such a strong word, but it, it is necessary. <laughs> anyway, what's up, hood folks? This is Jeremy. Y'all, I have been just, I don't know, y'all. I, I don't know. I don't know. People just been getting on my nerves lately. And this video just gonna be random thoughts, random conversation, random vlogs. If you ain't got nothing to watch, just watch this motherfucker. <laughs> just watch it. Anyway, I hate when people don't give me complete answers or uh, don't say complete sentences. Now, I am from the country. And y'all know how I slur on my words. Y'all know how I talk country, how I talk ghetto, how I be flirt, you know, whatever, whatever. But when I tell y'all a story, like something that happened to me or some stuff that I done in my past, whatever, if you notice, I give y'all a lot of details. I try to give you all the details I can remember so you can I can paint a clear picture to you and you know what I mean. But what makes me sick is when People don't give clear answers. And I'm gonna I'm gonna give you some examples so you can know what I mean, what I'm talking about. And people just annoy the fuck out of me with this. Like, if you say, if I say, hey man, I'm finna go to the club, do you wanna drive to the club or do you wanna ride the bus to the club? And they say yes. Wait, yes what? Or hey, I'm finna go get me a new phone at the store. Do you wanna trade your phone in too? Or do you wanna keep your phone? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I'm cooking a pizza and I'm cooking some chicken. So do you want pizza or chicken? Yeah. <laughs> or oh, we could be driving down the interstate and it's a thousand cars on the interstate and they'll say, oh, look at that car right there. Which car? It's like people did not learn that basic eight parts of speech in school. A fucking adjective describes the noun. An adverb tell you what the noun is doing. Why people are, don't want to use adjectives and adverbs? I know you like Jeremy, what the fuck is you talking about? I hate when people don't specify. That's what I mean, specify. And specify get on my nerves. And there's so many times like, when I be at work and people do that shit that just, mm, 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 mm. When I used to work at T-Mobile, I used to work at T-Mobile, the phone company. If you got T-Mobile, please cancel. T-Mobile is the worst of the worst. T-Mobile is worse than Sprint, and you know Sprint sucks. Anyway, when I used to work at T-Mobile, and I was doing tech support, and I'd be like, thank you for calling T-Mobile. My name is Jeremy. How can I help you? Fix my phone. Okay, so what's going on with your phone today? It ain't working. Okay, what is it not doing? It ain't working. You got the computer. Fix it. And I'll be like, okay, do the phone, come on. Look on your computer, you'll see what it's doing. You see what I'm saying? Specify. Instead of saying, yes, Jeremy, my phone will not make and receive calls. Jeremy, my phone won't receive text messages. Jeremy, I can't download music on my, you know, telling me specifically, specifically. That shit just worked my nerves and get on my nerve. I know y'all have watched my videos, or I hope you have watched the top five reasons. If you watch some of my earlier top fives, Top five reasons why I don't like people. Top five things that people do that get on my nerves. And I know that I, I listen to those top five in a very funny, comedic way and everybody laughed at them. But in real life, that shit is real life. Like, that is true. People get on my nerves so bad that it's horrible. Y'all, I, 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 I said this on another video. I bite my fingernails. And now I'm sitting here contemplating, do I want to go back to my doctor and ask him, do I need to see another therapist? Y'all have been to therapy before. And to me, therapy sucks. Therapy do not work. A therapist sit there, let you talk and tell you all their business, and they just right now making reports. It's not like they give you advice, telling you this is what you should try, do this. It just, they just listening and keep asking you a lot of questions. That's what my experience was with therapy. So therapy did not work. Therapy sucked to me. But anyway, I'm trying to see do I want to go back to the doctor and see what I need to do. Because I'm tired of, I've been biting my fingernails all my life. But now I'm seeing it's getting worse. Like I really bite the shit out of my nails. But anyway, so back here a couple of years ago, I went to my, I went to, I had this doctor who was an old fart, an old bitch, old bag of bones. Anyway, so I went to him one day. He was old as hell too. He probably be dead now. I don't even give a fuck. <laughs> I know y'all say, ooh, that's mean, but anyway, just hit me out. So I went to my doctor and I told him, I said, okay, if you give me a few minutes to explain to you what's going on with me 
in my in my condition and then you can tell me do I need to go see a therapist do I need to take some medication or what so I sat down with him and I explained now I said I have horrible nerves my my bad nerves I can't stand a lot of noise anymore I can't stand you no know, I used to love to go to sleep at night with my radio on now I can't do it no more. I can't stand no noise. I can't stand when people are talking behind my ear and I'm trying, I can't concentrate. Y'all remember when I told y'all that if I'm making a YouTube video and the TV on, I had to pause the TV, stop the TV to read and comprehend. When I make these videos, I had to keep it silent in here, see? Silent. Anyway, so I was explaining to him about my nerves. I was explaining to him about, you know, movies that I tell y'all I can't watch, like Transformers and stuff like that. I can't stand to see, um, like if, uh, if, if you take a, you know in the summertime, if you take a potato chip and you put a potato chip on the ground and a lot of ants cover the potato chip. Oh my God, I swear to y'all, for real, that shit get on my, <laughs> oh for real. Stuff like when some cover something, when it, it just a whole lot of stuff. So I explained to him all the stuff that was going on with me, all the stuff that I was going through. And so instead of him telling me, you know, Jeremy, you should try this, you should try to meditate, you should, I'm gonna give you some medication to take, whatever. He gonna tell me, I'm, I, uh, you, you are a big boy. Have you ever thought about weight loss surgery? I didn't come here for no weight loss surgery. So I told him, I said, I didn't come out no weight loss surgery. And so I, t I asked him, I said, what do you think I should do about my nerves? Well, when are you going to get some of that weight down? You are a big boy. I'm like, man, if he said one more thing to me about weight, I'm just going to go straight stupid on his head. And then he going to talk about, well, for the next 30 days, I want to put you on a diet and see how much you can lose in 30 days you come back and see me. And I said, do you not hear anything I just said, you old cracker motherfucking bitch? I mean, I just cussed him out like, whoa. And so the, the little patient care assistant person, or they came through, whoa, what kind of problem are we having? I said, you need to take this old summer bitch and put him in a nursing home. I just sat here, told this old crack ass bitch What's wrong with me? And he didn't even pay that no attention. He didn't tell me some weight loss surgery. I'm not stunning no weight loss goddamn surgery. And so they escorted me out the doctor's office. And it was so bad that they didn't even charge it to my insurance. <laughs> they didn't even charge the insurance because they told me, get out, get out of here. Get out of here. No, we're not dealing with you no more. So they don't want me as a patient anymore. So I found another doctor. The reason I told you the story to tell you what I'm getting to now. So I found another doctor. I went to him. I told him what my problem was about I got bad nerves, about, you know, my nerves are extremely bad, whatever. So he gave me some medication. I can't see shit. He gave me these pills right here. And they are some little small, this ain't no uh, review or nothing. They are some little small pills. And I take one, I take one every morning. What these pills do for me is if my nerves are bad on 100, it brings it down to at least like a 40. And it calms me down a little bit. It's, they still, they work, but not as much as I need them to work. You know, because things that people do that piss me off. Like, if I if I go park in an empty parking lot, and nobody's in the parking lot with me, right? And if somebody come park right beside me, boy, that, bur that burn my motherfucking bridge. You know, or if I'm at the movie theater, and I go in the daytime, and it's like, you know, nobody in the theater with me in the theater hold 250 seats, right? And I go sit in a section of the theater where ain't nobody at. And somebody else come in and sit right in the row beside me, right? That shit just get on my fucking nerves. Or if I'm in the grocery store and I'm and I got my stuff when I'm finna buy, and somebody who don't even know me or nothing just come up and say, "Oh man, you shouldn't buy them steaks right there. They say them steaks ain't good. Oh, them, you should not buy that chick right there." They say, "Is you finna buy? It? Are you paying for it for me?" That kind of stuff right there. So these pills, they do these these pills help me with a little bit of that, but still, I don't know. I want, like I said, I'm sitting here trying to contemplate, do I want to go back to my doctor again? I don't want to be on no more pills because this is enough right here. But I don't know. And I understand when people smoke. When I see people smoking cigarettes, a lot of times people are like, ooh, you are not smoke. That bad for you. But sometimes I, I, I smoke seldom, seldom. Now, I don't smoke every day. I don't smoke every, I mean, I got, I bought a pack of cigarettes in 
the first of June, and I still have over half a pack left right now. I smoke one cigarette probably once every three or four weeks. I might smoke one after I make this video because, like I said, people just do shit that just annoy me. People are annoying nowadays. Inner city is worse than what it was years ago. But in my case, it's like my nerves are getting extremely bad. I'm only 34. So I don't want to get when I get 50. Like I can't just, I don't want to be that kind of person where I just can't tolerate nothing. You know, right now I live in the city. But I, I pray to God that one day soon, <laughs> one day soon, that I can go back to the country. Now a lot of people live in the country. Like who also ready to get out there born that country? And I'm saying I'm ready to get back to the born ass country. The simple life. So Anyway, in the comments below, what I want to know from you for real, talk to me. Seriously, talk to me. Do you, are you experiencing something like this? Um, I don't know if it's like anxiety. My doctor never told me I had anxiety. Well, I don't know if he told me anxiety, but I know I, sometimes I feel like I have panic attacks when people just won't shut the fuck up or when people can get on my nerve a whole lot. Like that just like, oh my God, just, just get away from around me. So in the comments below, let me know, are you experiencing something like this? Do you take medications for your nerves? Have your doctor prescribed you some kind of pills to take to calm your nerves down? Because like I said, my nerves are, are shot, y'all. They shot, like they bad. Like they really bad, like for real, for real. And I really, I really want to stop biting my fingernails. And I tried all kind of stuff, but I really want to stop biting my fingernails, but it's a nerve mechanism. And if you drink, and if you smoke, and if you do, Things like that to keep your nerves down. I understand where you're coming from. I can feel you. And I can definitely feel you. So, like I said in the comments, let me know if you are experiencing something like this with your nerves. I'd like to hear from you for real, for real. And this video is 12 minutes. Damn, I can talk. So, I'll see y'all next time, hood folks. I hope y'all have a good week, in, week, whatever, whenever you get this video. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Damn. Whew, my nerves, baby.